During the 90s, there was a big war going on between Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog. This was another era though, since Sonic and Mario now appear in many games together, such as the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic game series and Super Smash Bros. But why were those two rivals back then? Maybe they both wanted to be heroes and the city was too small for both of them? Maybe we were blind back then, but there's no way that Sonic is a hero. I'm Nico, and here's 10 reasons why Sonic is not a hero. Since 2008, Sonic has been competing at the Olympic Games. But why? And how is that fair to other competitors? I mean, he's Sonic the Hedgehog! He's fast, that's all he is, he's gotta go fast! And yet, he wants to ruin the Olympic Games by participating? I mean, look at how slow he's running right now, he's only pretending to run at normal speed to give other competitors the impression of having a chance to win. That's very bad sportsmanship. Shameful display, Sonic. Shameful display. Global warming is serious and real. I mean, right now it's really hot outside and there's no sign of snow. And we're only in February. We need to take better care of the environment. But Sonic? Oh no no no, Sonic doesn't really care as he organizes many car races for his pleasure. This contributes to increasing the global carbon monoxide released in the air. This gas is toxic to animals and humans alike, and it's one of the factors that contributes to global warming. Why isn't he running on foot? I mean, he's the fastest after all. Stop wasting gas, Sonic. I want my kids to be able to live on this planet. It seems that a lot of so-called heroes have an addiction to something. Kirby is addicted to food, DK is addicted to bananas, and Mario is addicted to mushrooms. Sonic? Well, he's addicted to chili dogs. While not as devastating as Mario's addiction to drugs, Sonic's addiction to chili dogs isn't any good. His favorite chili dogs contain some hot dog sausages, which are fake processed meat. They are not healthy. They're not that tasty and they have been proven to be linked with various sicknesses. A hero should not be putting its life in danger by eating stupid chili dogs. Come on, eat healthier, Sonic, or you may get chubbier. Sonic's main enemy is Dr. Robotnik, also known as Dr. Eggman. As a hero, you're supposed to eliminate your enemy, you're supposed to make sure he doesn't come back every two seconds and does something crazy. But of all things, you're never, and I insist, never supposed to work with him. And that's exactly what Sonic does in Sonic Lost Worlds. He decided that he's too much of a wimp to defeat the Deadly Six alone, so he teams up with Eggman to defeat them. <sighs> that is unacceptable, that's not what a hero does. Come on, Sonic. Sonic's relationship to Tails is pretty clear. Tails is a sidekick. But his relationship with Amy is kind of harder to define. I mean, Amy seems totally in love with Sonic. She loves to be around him and it shows. As for Sonic, he really doesn't like her that much and treats her with very little respect, showing signs of anger when she's around him. And he doesn't even try to hide it. He clearly shows that he isn't happy with her being around him. But why? I mean, okay, sure, she's kind of uh, obnoxious, but she seems like a nice gal. She even helped him escape from jail at one point. And did he thank her? Well, no, of course not. He just ran away and left Amy alone. A true hero would not do that. So, 
from what I got from Sonic's story, is that if he collects all seven Chaos Emeralds, he turns into a Super Saiyan. <laughs> I mean, he turns into a Super Sonic. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell, they both look alike. And at this point, he's supposed to be the strongest being ever. Oh, that is, except if he gets captured into Dr. Eggman's stupid force field. Yeah, at this point, there's nothing he can do but wait to be turned into a werewolf or, or werehog or, or whatever this is supposed to be. I mean, this is supposed to be supersonic. This is supposed to be his ultimate form. A hero should not be stoppable in his ultimate form so easily. I mean, come on! You'd think that a hero has to follow the rules and the laws, but that's not the case for Sonic, obviously, as he was captured by the gun organization in Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, Sonic's a criminal, and what he does next is crazy. He breaks out of the gun helicopter and jumps down to escape from the city. Wow, I can't believe some people thought Sonic was a hero, and you know what? He keeps breaking laws while escaping, avoiding every red light, going way above the speed limit, and breaking many things while he's running. <sighs> this should be the top 10 reasons why Sonic is a criminal. I mean, jeez. Sonic thinks he can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. And if that includes breaking your stuff, it doesn't even matter. He breaks platforms and bridges and even more, it's easy to see all of what he breaks during the city escape segment in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. He's running away, breaking cars in the process. I mean, imagine, okay, imagine this is your car parked right in front of your house in the city, minding its own business and you're playing video games and stuff and then you hear this sound. It's blown up to pieces by a blue hedgehog. That is unacceptable. Even though he's rolling around at the speed of sound, he got places to go, he gotta follow his rainbow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did I start singing this song? Ugh, I've played too much Sonic today. Sonic and Tails have a weird relationship. Tails is supposed to be his partner, his sidekick. But sadly for him, Sonic doesn't really let Tails develop to his full potential. Sonic never lets Tails fight alongside him and keeps making snarky remarks to him. I mean, Tails is an excellent pilot, helping him reach many places. Sonic, you need to show Tails some respect. Oh, and Sonic is also so fast that Tails has trouble following him. But does Sonic care? Nah, he doesn't. Look at this. Does he care about Tails? No, Tails is receiving missiles on top of his head and Sonic keeps running. That's disgusting. Mario games are not known for their plot. In fact, the plot is almost non-existent in all of his games. But by taking a look at Sonic 06's storyline, it may be a good thing. During this wonderful game, and by wonderful I'm just hiding the fact that it's one of the worst game of all time, Sonic and some princess named Elise show traces of love between each other. Okay, excuse me, a human being and a hedgehog? Okay, whatever. At some point, Sonic dies in the game, and there's only one thing that can bring him back. A kiss from his so-called beloved princess. Oh, oh, what? She kissed him? Excuse me, okay? A human being being kissed by an, a hedgehog? Okay. This alone should be all 10 reasons why Sonic is not a hero. At this point, if we exclude the fact that this is borderline bestiality, the hero here is the princess, not Snow White. Uh, I mean, Sonic. Excuse me. I have to go brush my teeth now, because I think I puked a little by saying all of this. Ugh. And that's it. You now know that Sonic is not a hero. 
And before you start hating on me, calling me a Sonic hater and a Mario lover, well, you should know that Mario is far from being a hero. Click here and check the description to find out why Mario is not a hero. And you might also be interested in knowing why Link, Kirby and Donkey Kong are not heroes. All the links are in the description. Make sure you watch them all. Thanks a lot for watching, don't take this too seriously, and I'll see you next time.